in the later portion of 2012, you got to see a side of me that was very critical of the death of the family. Specifically, single mother households. And a lot of people in the neo-reactionary sphere, or the red pill sphere, or the right wing side of the spectrum, they all find this repugnant. They all despise the sight of single mothers shitting on their kids and seeing how their kids really do become demons. Some of them have the starving African face, some of them have the sociopath look, and they act like it. Because the mom is taking out all her aggressions on that kid for not having a decent male in her life, an alpha male. And the kid ends up bullying other people in school. But single mother households are carcinogenic on multiple levels. The first level is the fact that they expect to get applauded for it. Like, they're doing twice the work, so they should be cheered on because they're putting bread in the house and nurturing. Single mothers are like superheroes. No, wait, single mothers are superheroes. I cited that meme, and a friend of mine said, what kind, of, what kind of message is that? Are you 12? And that's good psychologizing because that really is how it feels like. It's immature. It's the busybody mentality. The busy bee. The, cl the teacher's pet. That kind of pettiness. And on that other level, yeah, they are depriving their kid of a father, and on a deeper level, they're pissing their kid off. They're annoying living shit out of their kid. They're making his life a miserable piece of shit. Or her life. But, if I generalize too hard, I would be... Hmm projecting and I could go on a smarter level I could go more intellectually honestly beta males might be worse if we have a household where there's a mom and there's a beta dad you're still living in a broken household because now you're living with two bitches instead of one so you don't have an alpha father figure your parents are probably going to sell you out to the schools nowadays and your teacher of the year or two if you get them twice but more accurately her is going to be more of a parental figure that bureaucratic Degenerate. Okay, I used degenerate as a buzzword there, but you already see it. You're living with two bitches and they're going to hand you out to an institution. Because they really don't know what to do with you. You don't have anyone to look up to. And, again, all the problems of a single parent household, they still persist for the most part because it's not just that you need a man that is legally fucking her you need a man that is alpha that's what you need you need alpha debts and so I'm so triggered when I see the same kind of scenario where a single mom is beating on her kid in a church or a bodega. But only, now there's a dad who always seems to be nervous in public and he's kind of hiding behind his shoulders in a turtleneck fashion. It's the same thing. Except now she has one more baited man 
to give her a angrier outlook on life and to give her another reason to take out those frustrations on her kids. So that is a problem. And that's why they could trigger me a lot more depending on the situation. This is Mr. Wonka 7. Hope you enjoy this rant of mine. It's actually pretty short, but whatever. Respect the king.